Okay, the next example is a really exciting ending of the finals of the Whirlpool Masters versus Darren Appleton in 2013 in Barnsley, England, about 20 miles from where Darren lives. Darren Appleton! So I picked this example because I'm facing a really hostile crowd, not in a very negative way. They weren't uh, against me, but they were really pro Darren. So everything that was happening was uh, exaggerated times 10. And um, it was kind of like playing the Moscone in a way. Um, I don't know what I'm doing there with the yawning, but <laughs> I'm about to close out the match, guys. I'm up 7-6. It was a dogfight. It was a great match. A lot of uh, things were happening. We both really wanted to win. Uh, and I broke the balls extremely well and I'm about to close out this match and I'm gonna show you another mental error but also how I recovered from that so I'm not showing you all the hinky dory great shots and great jumps I'm showing you the mental side of correcting stuff here also what's happening here I got the five seven combination lined up and the reason I make the upcoming mental error is because uh, a week ago or so, or 10 days ago, with this same shot, I followed the five in after the ball that was in the pocket. That's why I'm getting up. I remember this and I'm like, mm, I don't want to follow this ball in. And I was a little bit afraid if I didn't roll this combination very well, the ball was going to end up funky next to the pocket so i'm taking a chance here to follow that ball in because it's so deep i'm thinking if i hit it straight it's going in and there you see bad choice of shot i didn't hit it straight all i had to do was roll it in and then go back upwards so an error i have no time anymore i got a shot clock i'm of course i'm disgusted with the choice but i'm thinking okay let's go Right? I practiced really hard on my uh, safety drills in that period. This is an extremely tough shot. I can only see the left side of the ball. But I have to keep going, guys. I cannot just give it away. I'm up 7-6. So, my instincts got kicked in there. And I execute this ball really well. And from here, at least I'm, I didn't give up. I didn't sell out after a mistake. I'm still... In the, I have the initiative of this rack. Darren has to make a really good shot here to recover. But Darren is a great champion, we all know that. So he's, he's not going to let this one slip that easy. He's glad to be at the table. That's his mentality, right? The match was over. Whatever he's got to shoot at, just, just give it to me. So he executes a beautiful, touchy roll safety there. Which he, he took a big chance for the table to roll off executed well fortunately for me if i want to play safe here the five ball will stay approximately in the same position so i can hit the right side of the five here guys the five will almost not move that much and i can really try to get the cue ball two or three rails behind the nine if the five would be off a little bit it would be much tougher so I'm still in the match. I have a chance again to regain initiative here. One, two, see the five doesn't move that much. I hit it a little bit hard. The adrenaline's of course kicking in big time now for the win. And what's also interesting is a few weeks before in the World Cup of Pool, uh, Nick Vandenberg and me, we got runner up against the Philippines and we didn't close out the last uh, few games. That missed eight will haunt Niels for the rest of his life. Which was uh, painful. And uh, actually we didn't do that a year after against uh, Darren and Carl also. The biggest nine England has hit in their lives. But that's also a part of the game, guys. It comes back to mentality. How are you going to take that? 
right? I think a positive way to take those matches is, listen, we played great that tournament. We didn't play great for maybe one or two games, right? Does that mean now that we're bad players? Is that what we should think about? Only that? No, man, we played really good. We're in good form. We're putting ourselves in positions where we can win. Take that, all right? Great shot from there and there under pressure. But take that form and carry it over. If you keep putting yourself in positions where you can win, right? Eventually, you're gonna bust through the door. And that's what we see here. Of course, in my mind right now, I'm thinking, oh man, I've, gi I've given it away again, but I'm sticking with it, right? I'm battling my own little demon there, my gremlin in my mind. And I'm just hoping for a chance. This shot's not easy for Darren. So I'm thinking, you know what? Get ready for a chance. Darren had a hard time with the crowd there also. I heard afterwards because he made that great bank. The crowd was cheering for him, right? And here I have to go through my own little demon of closing it out there after I just lost the tough final against the Philippines with Nick. So this is my opportunity to set it straight. I have three balls to go. Of course I'm nervous here like any other human being would be for winning a, a big title. Whirlpool Masters, this was my first Whirlpool Masters, so uh, I'm feeling it, not gonna lie. Nice speed control there, a little bit high. One more shot. Fantastic fire! And just an example of closing it out and actually mistake tilt. We go over that in the course. Right, celebrations. There you have it. Another example. Right.